on. So today I am just popping in right quick just to show that we're going to put some cherry flavoring in the uh, cherry stout beer. Yeah, this is the natural cherry from Brewer's Best. Um, I'm just going to take that at face value that it's natural cherry because uh, no way to confirm otherwise unless I did some research, but I don't really care because I'm essentially looking for just a good cherry flavor in my stout beer. So let's go down on the keg here and we'll put this cherry flavoring in there. Just gonna pour the whole thing down in there as per the instructions. Man, whoo, that's a lot of cherry. It smells so good though. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the valve. And that's the uh, stout going down in and basically it'll kind of mix in with that cherry as it fills up and uh, we'll get a good cherry to stout ratio and this racking arm here I went ahead and rotated it you know because when I had it fermenting I actually had this blue to the side because the arm is straight up right now but the arm was turned like so so when I turned it um, it brought the arm up. So yeah, this is really cold. Um, this got down to about 53 degrees. It's about as low as I could get it with the brew jacket. And the more I use the brew jacket, the more I start to understand it. You really, if to get optimal cool temperature with this thing, you really don't want it in a closed room, um, confined space like a closet. You don't want it, like even in my laundry room, I, it gets kind of warm in there because this thing puts out quite a bit of heat as it pulls the heat out of your wort. And uh, basically, this would be better off in, say, a room, a fairly open room, uh, where you got good air circulation and whatnot. So a good AC vent and everything just kind of circulating the air through the house. But it's very cold to the touch. And like I said, I was able to get it down to about 52 degrees, um, which is fantastic. It means you, you could essentially lager with it. And they say you can lager with it, but you have to have the most optimal uh, conditions temperature wise for that to happen. Like I said, it's in my laundry room. Laundry room is actually the warmest room in the house with this thing in there. Um, but it's an optimal place to ferment my beers. And uh, I may find another place eventually to have my beer set up, maybe just in a guest bedroom or something, um, with some precautions like in case of a blowout or anything so I don't get anything dirty. But yeah, I just had this little blow off jar here in there and just had the tube in there. I took the tube out so I could uh, allow air in through this top port here so that the beer would flow out without issue. And uh, yeah, we're getting there, man. It's filling up quite nicely. Um, but I'm gonna put it on some CO2 for about three days at about 30 PSI or so. And uh, we will come back and we will review it and see how it comes out. Uh, there should not be any off flavors or anything in this beer. Um, I had it at the optimal ferment temp. Uh, I didn't pitch the yeast until it was within that optimal ferment temp. And I'm also kind of curious to see what the inside of my SS Brewtech brew bucket looks like after fermenting in it. Because uh, I had this thing super sanitized and clean and ready to go for this beer so um i remember it was a fairly warm brew day that day and uh but anyways guys just wanted to check in with you right quick Ooh. oh yeah Ooh. very cherry very cherry so i'm excited to try this beer out this is going to be kind of like my wintertime brew um i don't know if um I'll do another beer. I do have a whiskey barrel stout that I want to do next. And so that will be coming up here soon. You may have noticed I didn't put a video out last weekend. I was not in town. I actually went back to Houston for the Renaissance Festival there and uh, had a good time. And my daughter got to enjoy that some. And we dragged her around in a wagon the whole time. And 
And then we went to a little farm out in Magnolia area called P6 Farms. And they had like some cool little kid things to do. And But she was pat, way past her nap time, so she really didn't enjoy it as much as she could have. Um, but we were really on a time crunch being that we drove all day Friday into Houston. And we spent two full days there and then we drove back to Midland from Houston and that was pretty much a full day of driving. But all in all, it was a good venture, something outside the norm and a little road trip's always nice. So anyways guys, we'll see you soon here when we are taste testing this cherry stout. Cheers.